Hey viewers, I've been asked a few times uh, for a video on how to install uh, cross levers or uh, interruption levers or uh, inline brake levers or whatever you want to call them. And so I'm going to install these on my homemade cyclocross slash gravel bike and that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to start off by peeling this handlebar tape back just a little bit to uh, uh, expose more of the, the cable here. So, kind of just pull this tape off here, and I don't want to wreck the tape because I'm going to reuse it here after I'm done. So, I don't need to fully unwrap it, but just unwrap it maybe about that far. And then I'm going to use like a little bit of uh, masking tape, just kind of hold it out of the way while I work. Next, I want to remove the cable from the brake. So, I'm going to remove this little end cap here. Kind of pull this off. Like that and then uh, go ahead and loosen the little clamp bolt here and pull the cable through like that and now I'm gonna be cutting the cable uh, cable housing right here and I want to get this cable pushed back and pulled out of the cable um, here and get it out of the way so Kind of reach down here and pull this cable out here like this and get it. I don't need to, to remove the cable all the way, but I need to get it enough so that it's, uh, I'm not going to cut the cable here. Unless I want to replace the cable, which wouldn't bother me at all anyway. Okay, I'm ready to clamp the lever onto the handlebars here. Um, this is uh, designed here for the oversized handlebars, but make, they come in several different sizes, but make sure you get the, the size uh, for your, your style of handlebars here. And the, uh, the clamp is hinged so that I don't need to pull everything off in order to put them on. So I'm just gonna clamp it on here. And you, the positioning is kind of personal preference. And then there's like a little screw here that kind of goes in through the bottom. Now before you cut the cable uh, housing, uh, make sure that the uh, lever is where you want it. Uh, test it, make sure that it's not gonna hit anything down here and that you're happy with the position because um, after you get everything uh, hooked up, it's gonna be uh, difficult to uh, reposition it at that point. So this looks like good there. I'm pretty happy with it right there. So that's where I'm gonna go with. Now the housing is going to go uh, partly into this lever part here, so I don't want to just cut it just straight off there. So I'm going to cut it over here a little bit further. I'd rather have like a little extra because I always trim it off a little bit. And uh, so I'll cut it right there and then clean this off a little bit. Get this so that the, uh, the end is nice and uh, straight. Like that. Then we use an awl here to kind of open up the liner of the housing there so that the cable can come out. And then what I'll do is I'm going to test fit this into the brake lever there and see how this fits into there. Okay, so it's a little bit long, so I'm going to trim off a little bit. And then use my awl to open up the lining there. And then again, try to test fit this into the lever here and see how it goes. And then that actually looks uh, pretty good right, right like that. Now I want to push the cable back through the housing here. So just kind of push it out. And so there it is there. And then feed it through the little barrel adjuster in the lever here. Like that and then push the cable through like that when you get a partial wet then you pull it through okay now I'm ready to hook up the uh, remaining little bit of uh, cable housing that I cut off um, the brake lever itself is actually going to take up a little bit of a uh, space that the uh, housing actually uh, occupied there. So in some cases, you might actually want to trim a little bit of the housing off on here, but I don't think I'm going to need to do that. And then ferrules, um, 
on the, the side of the cable housing going into the brake lever, I didn't need a ferrule, but on the, here where the uh, barrel adjuster is, I am going to need a ferrule. So I'm going to slide a bit of uh, ferrule on the bit of housing here, and then I'm going to slide the cable in through this housing here. And then pull this into position here like this. And then uh, hooking up the brakes is going to vary from bike to bike, but on this one I have a cable stop down here, and so I'll route this back here like this, route the cable down through the cable stop here, get the uh, cable all seated in there, and then I'm ready to hook up this brake here. Okay, now I've got the cable routed down here through the brake and the cable clamp here, so I kind of get the, the, the uh, thing here adjusted about where I want it. And tighten this clamp a little bit and test it. Now when adjusting these brakes, this is still going to be your primary brake. So you want to make sure that you adjust for this brake lever here. And so when you get that adjusted, uh, you're basically get what you get on this one here. This is still going to be your primary brake. And so this feels pretty good and this actually feels pretty good too. But one of the benefits you get with a lot of these uh, inline brake levers is that a lot of them also have um, little barrel adjusters on there so you can uh, fine tune the brakes here as well. These actually feel really good. Okay, I put a little crimp end on the end of the cable here like this, keep it from uh, fraying, and then uh, compress this down here like this, and then I'm gonna bend this up here like this, kinda keep it out of the way like that. Okay, and now I wanna rewrap this little bit of a handlebar tape that I pulled off of here, and kinda get this all uh, wrapped like this, and I can always trim a little bit off of there if I need to, but actually this is pretty good. And so then use my electrical tape to uh, finish up the end of the, the tape here like this. Okay, one side done. Okay, I hooked up the second lever the exact same way it is the first lever, and so this is all working. These levers work, these levers work, and so now when I'm gonna be riding like off-road on rough terrain, and I'm gonna be riding more on top here, upright, I've got these levers here. Anyway, hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please click like on my video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button and you'll see new, new videos. I'm always coming out with new videos. And uh, if you, I'm on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a lot of stuff over there as well. And I have a, a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up, and I have forums where you can ask questions and I have all my videos categorized. And I have some other stuff over there as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.